For today's video, we are going to talk about what is random variable and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say random variable, it is a function that associates a real number to each element in the sample space. It is a variable whose values are determined by chance. So basically, random variable may be viewed as the way to map outcomes of a statistical experiment determined by the chance into a number. It is a set of whose elements are the number assigned to the outcomes of an experiment. And basically, it is denoted by capital letter X, Y, or Z, or any letters in the alphabet. So let's start. Let's have an example. On example number one, suppose two coins are tossed. Let X be the random variable representing the number of heads that occur. Find the value of the random variable x. So to find the value of the random variable x that represents the number of heads and to complete the given table, let us illustrate first on how we can find the sample space using tree diagram. So let's say for example, on the first toss, we have two possible outcomes that is head and tail. On the second toss, we have head and and tail and using this diagram we can easily identify all the sample space so let us have the sample space let us have head and head and then we have head and tail and then tail head and then tail so the sample space for this experiment that is head head, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. So let us use this one to complete the given table. All we have to do is to count the number of heads in each outcome in the sample space and assign this number to this outcome. So let us have head head and then we have head tail and then tail head and lastly we have tail tail so let us count the number of heads in each outcome so let us have two heads that is two and then we have one one and zero so the possible value of the random variable x are zero one and this will be our answer. On example number two, suppose three coins are tossed. Let y be the random variable representing the number of tails that occur. Find the values of the random variable y. To find the values of the random variable y that represents the number of tails and to complete the given table, let us illustrate first on how we can determine the sample space. So let's say for example, on the first toss, we have two possible outcomes that is head and tail. On the second toss, we have head and tail. And then on the third toss, we have head and tail. So let us use this one to determine all the sample space. So let us have the sample space. Let's have head, head, head. And then we have head, head, tail. And then head, tail, head. And the fourth one that is head, tail, tail. And then let's have tail, head, head. And then tail, head, tail. And then we have tail, tail, head. And lastly, we have tail, tail, tail. 
So the sample space for this experiment that is head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, and tail, tail, tail. And let us use this one to complete the given table. And let us count the number of tails in each outcome in the sample space and let us assign a number on each outcome. So let us have head, 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 and then head, head, tail. And then we have head, tail, head, and then head, tail, tail. And then we have tail, head, head, and then we have tail, head, tail, and then tail, tail, head, and lastly, we have tail, tail, tail. So let us count the number of tails on each outcome. First, we don't have a tail on the first possible outcome, so let us have zero. Let's have one, one, two, one, and then we have two. Then we have two, and then we have three tails. So the possible values of the random variable y are 0, 1, 2, and 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, Two balls are drawn in succession without replacement from a box containing five red balls and six blue balls. Let Z be the random variable representing the number of blue balls. Find the values of the random variable Z. To find the values of the random variable Z that represents the number of blue balls and to complete the given table, let us illustrate first on how we can determine all the sample space. So let us represent B as blue ball and let us represent R as red ball so on the first row let us have blue and red then on the second row we have blue and red and using this diagram, we can easily identify all the sample space. So let us have the sample space that is blue, blue, and then blue, red. And then let's have red, blue, and then red, red. So the sample space for this experiment that is blue, 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 red, red, blue, and red, red. And let us use this one to complete the given table and let us count the number of blue balls in each outcome in the sample space and assign a number on each outcome. So let us have blue, blue, and then blue, red, then let us have red blue and then we have red red and let us count the number of blue balls in each outcome so let us have two blue balls that is two and then we have one and then one and then we have zero so the possible values of the random variable z that is zero one and and this will be our answer. On example number 4, write the possible values of each random variable. On letter A, let x be the number of even number outcome in a roll of a die. Since there are 6 possible outcomes in a die, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we are looking for the possible values of the random variable x which represents the even number 
in a die. So the possible values of a random variable x are 2, 4, and 6. And this will be our answer. On letter B, let Y be the weight in milligram of a powder that does not exceed 80 milligram. So how can we represent this one using symbol? So as you can see, we have the word does not exceed. That means the value of Y is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 80 milligram. And this will be our answer. On letter C, Z be the score of a student in a 10-item test. So what is the possible score of a student in a 10-item test? So the possible value of a random variable Z or the possible scores of a student in a 10-item test, that is Z, it can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.